Hey guys, we're at the 2019 PRI show here in Indianapolis, Indiana. We're in the Ford Performance booth. I'm Revan Evan, and this is Dave Bourne. Dave, we are standing in front of the new Iron Race Block, and it's a Coyote. Right. You got all the details on this, so right. let's talk about it. Right, well, I'll tell you a little bit about it, right? Hot off the presses, brand new part for us here. Um, really feel there's a pretty big market for this. We've had a lot of people asking for something like it for a number of years, mm -hmm. right? Folks are out there taking their Coyote blocks and they're really trying to push these engines into the stratosphere in terms of power with them. Um, doing crazy things like uh, putting big sleeves in them. Um, you know, there's a couple other manufacturers doing either billet blocks or even a new cast aluminum block, um, trying to get these things at really high horsepower levels, right? So we thought, you know, what, what other way can you accomplish that? Because those blocks even are still, uh, have their limitations and there's still folks coming up and and saying, you know, we need something even better yet than that, right? Okay. So, you know, what else can you do? Try a different material, right? Everyone knows iron's uh, tried and true. It's considerably stronger than aluminum. Um, weight penalty, obviously, right? This thing's going to be a bit heavier than, a, than an aluminum block, but it comes uh, with a, a great deal of added strength, right? Right. <clears throat> so we, this was the route we decided to go after for it. We spoke to the customers, of course, right? And the guys that are, that are you know, wanting to make... 1,500, 2,000 horsepower, those big power guys, generally drag racers, right. um, they can afford the weight penalty on the front of those cars, right? Because they're lifting the front wheels off and they're already rearranging their, the weight of their vehicles. They're already putting weight up front. In front of the bumper, these guys got 100 pounds up there anyway, right? So the idea of putting a little bit of weight on, we didn't feel it was a real penalty for our target customer. Okay. So that's the solution that, uh, that we went after. This is the first part that we've done, right? So this is literally hot off the presses. Cube part, not finished machined yet, but it does give everybody the opportunity to, to take a look at uh, how we've changed it, what's different, and you know, sort of get a preview of uh, what's to come over maybe the next year or so. Right, so I see a lot of massive ribbing. One of the things you mentioned earlier is the aluminum block even sleeved 327 cubic inches, which right. is what the Cobra Jets run. Exactly. And yep. with the current NHRA pulley configuration, 1,300 horsepower, so they've mm -hmm. obviously made more probably but yep. with the smaller pulley to go 770s they or have. a little yep. backed off now. Yep. Yep. This, how big can this thing go as far as cubic inch? Because that's what people right. really want to yeah. know. Right. So yeah, so the, the, the aluminum block's 94 millimeter bore is about as far as you're gonna get, right? This iron block, you're gonna be able to get to about 95. Not a big difference, but you know, we're, we're looking for right. incremental changes. Um, and then the stroke on this is going to get you up to about 99 millimeters, the way we, the way Ford looks at it, right? So maybe just under 350 cubic inches? Yeah, I think it's going to be about 340, about 5.6 oh, nice. liters. Yeah. So, yeah. so being iron and not needing a sleeve or a spray bore, right. honeable, horrible, exactly. so yeah. rebuildable? Rebuildable, exactly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And again, you know, the iron we've selected here, this is a class 50 cast iron, right? Okay. This is a really heavy duty iron, you know? Okay. Again, in layman's blocks. terms, what does that mean compared to a production block? Um, it's better. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So from a from a racer standpoint, a strength standpoint, what are some of the things that you know people might not see with their naked eye? Why why is it actually better? Yeah. So you know the geometry of this is really very similar to uh, to the aluminum blocks, right? Okay. But when you when you start looking at it, like you said, there's you know there's ribbing in the in the valley here. There's ribbing all up and down the sides. Very similar ribbing to what's in the aluminum. Right. Um, we consider dropping it all because the, the, the you know, for is a, is a weight thing, right? Um, but we know guys are really going crazy. We're seeing coyotes <laughs> in the 2,000 plus horsepower range. Oh, sure. So we left all that stuff in there, and we feel pretty comfortable that this is going to be able to handle that kind of thing for the guy. You're not going to have to be redoing it all the time, right? Right. Um, you know, and you, you mentioned uh, factory stock. You know, some of those guys they push those things so hard now. They, they struggle with uh, sealing the head gasket, right? Okay. Um, the stiffer block that you've got here, so we've got 12 millimeter deep head bolts, right? With that that uh, arrangement on it. Um, so if you want to do it with studs and nuts, and then just the fact that we've got a nice thick deck, we've added these ribs here. You see one of the limitations on the aluminum blocks is you'll see split bores, right? And you'll see them split right here. Um, so we've added this rib in. Oh, okay. Strength, right? And then you've got again, you've got a. I suppose so. This is open. Block. It's open on a standard carry for yeah. water jacket. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, so it adds quite a bit of strength to the top That's of the right, board. Right, right in that critical spot. Oh, right. wow. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that's a good deal. And then you know, just the fact that you're on a steel uh, surface versus aluminum, 
you, you don't think that there's a bunch of bunch of movement, right? And movement, I, but it is, right? Every firing, every firing uh, cycle, you're getting some movement of the surfaces. Right. Um, to get the, again, your, your turbo guys, they'll be O-ring in their head. They'll have a gasket that, you know, put an O-ring in there. And then, so that'll help them on the aluminum side of it, on the, on the iron side now. Okay. It's just not going to deflect like aluminum does. So you'll really be able to seal those super high pressures with this. Much better you will than you will in any aluminum solution. And still a uh, six-bolt crank retention? Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, steel caps. Yep. And steel caps? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Any idea when this thing will be available? Um, 2020, I'll say that. Okay, Probably so it's later. coming pretty soon. Yeah. It's coming yeah. pretty soon. Oh, that's fantastic. Dave, thank you so much. Yeah, you got it. And we're going to take a walk around the booth. There's awesome. so much more cool stuff to see here. Thanks for checking out the video. And uh, boom, get one of these things in your uh, in your Mustang or your awesome. F-150 or wherever you want to go. Uh, right. Pass with the Coyote. Project. Yeah, cool. It. cool.